Hello and welcome. And in this short video, I want to introduce some of the concepts and ideas behind the currency array indicator from quantum trading, the reason we've developed it, and how to apply it to your own trading approach. As you can see, I have it applied here to three different time frames. On the left, we have the five minute. In the center, we have the 15 minute. And over on the right hand side, the 30 minute. And the primary essence of the indicator is really to describe trend and momentum across the 28 currency pairs visually for you. In other words, to put all that information onto one screen. And indeed, uh, here you have three time frames, so you have even more information when you're using a multi time frame approach, which you could not only apply to your charts, but you can also apply to your indicators in exactly the same way. Now, if we start over on the left hand side, you can see here we've got the five minute time horizon. And as indeed with all the other quantum trading indicators, uh, we have this toggle function here because you don't necessarily want to see all 28 simultaneously. You might want to isolate them out. So all we need to do is click on the, uh, the one we want to select. So we're going to choose the euro here. Click on that. And as you can see, that has isolated out the seven euro pairs on the five minute time horizon. And you can see here we've got the euro Aussie, the euro New Zealand below it, the euro CAD, the euro yen, euro pound, euro Swiss, euro dollar. Now clearly what's uh, instantly obvious from that particular array is that we are seeing very, very strong euro buying in the market at present because all the pairs in the euro complex are pointing very sharply higher. And in essence, the steeper the angle of this trend line, then the greater the strength of the trend and momentum in that particular time horizon. So really that's one idea behind it is to give you a heads up, an instant view if you like, to the strength or weakness of a particular currency and from there across the currency complex. So we are seeing very strong euro buying at present on the five minute time frame. So really from that, there are several aspects that you could consider. And this is where perhaps we move over to the ranking ladder, which is over on the left here, which you can see, which graduates in color from bright red at the bottom here, through to orange, into yellow, and up into the bright green at the top. And what that is giving you is an instant visual heads up across the 28 currency pairs as to which ones are currently the most bullish. And you can see here at the top, we have the Euro, Aussie, Euro, New Zealand, Euro, CAD, which is reflecting the strength of trend here on the array. Down at the other end, and we'll click these on in a moment, you can see here we've got uh, the Aussie dollar, we've got the New Zealand dollar. So clearly, in the market at the moment, there is some dollar buying present. The visual array here it's representative of what is going on on the array over here. So if I click this off again and bring all 28 pairs back again, you can see here right down at the bottom, we've got the New Zealand dollar. The New Zealand dollar is bottom ranking at the moment. So we have a very strong trend to the downside in terms of New Zealand dollar and an equally strong trend up at the top for Euro, Euro New Zealand. So from in that, from you can also infer that there is a lot of New Zealand weakness in the market. There's a lot of New Zealand selling right now. And indeed, if we want to isolate the New Zealand pairs, there we go. We click on the New Zealand toggle button. And up at the top, we still have our Euro New Zealand. Down at the bottom, we've got New Zealand dollar joined by New Zealand Swiss. And the others are, are arrayed around in the center here. And the other beauty of the array is that when you are viewing it in real time like this, you very quickly get a sense of the mass movement, the transitioning of a currency pair and the flow and strength of that particular buying or selling 
as the arrays tend to march together and other, other pairs join in the strength of that move. So what you will see is you will see these pairs swinging together, moving, as we call it, en masse. It's almost like a marching army marching together. And the one that perhaps displays that the most easily, if we just click that back on again and move over to the yen pairs, for example. Now the yen is always the counter currency. So it's always on the right hand side of the pair. And in essence, what you want to see across a currency complex, and the yen is the easiest place to see this, is you really want to see all these pairs either on one side of the, the horizontal down here, if you will, or the other. And the reason that's important is because that then reflects universal sentiment for that particular currency pair or currency rather. So for the yen, if the universal market sentiment across the complex is flowing in the same direction across all the pairs, then all of them should be on one side of the horizontal line or the other. And you can see at present they're not. Now that's not to say that the euro buying here and consequent selling of the yen, which is pretty strong, is not going to be joined. Indeed, you can see the dollar yen starting to stretch up. The Swiss yen is starting to join it. And ultimately, if that flow is universal, then these will also transition up to the upper side of the indicator. And you see this constantly, particularly on the faster time frames, this constant ebb and flow of sentiment as currency strength it first changes from buying to selling and back again. And that is what you're seeing. You're seeing the rotation in and out of a currency pair and a currency per se reflected across the array. It's a very visual, it's a very elegant, and it's a very beautiful way of showing you on one simple chart in multiple time frames the strength and the trend strength across a complex and also obviously for individual currencies. Now finally, also on the ranking ladder, we have the ranking ladder here, but you'll see these signals coming up in the second column. And what you're seeing here is a signal which is giving you a heads up on when a currency pair is potentially approaching an overbought or an oversold region on the array. So it's giving you a heads up signal. When a pair is approaching a, uh, an overbought state, as we have two here, first of all, you'll see it uh, color-coded with the darker blue, and it comes up in brackets OB. So it's giving you a signal of potentially reaching overbought. When it gets to overbought, the brackets will disappear and you'll get a brighter blue. We haven't got, uh, here we are, we have one over on the 15 minute here, you can see it. That signal, it's just flip-flopping around there for the Euro Swiss. Uh, it was uh, brighter blue, it's now gone back to the darker blue, so it's clearly at a, at a potential, there we go, it's back to bright blue again now with the OB and the brackets removed. So that is, that is very close to a potential reversal point. And in exactly the same way as on the currency strength indicator, where you get a currency approaching that area of overbought, overstrong, very strong in other words, or very weak, then that is a potential opportunity to investigate further on the chart with the potential to get into a trend once the market starts to reverse. The currency market is all about mean reversion. It's about strength and weakness. And as currencies get to those regions of overbought and oversold, then it is a potential opportunity to take up a, a reversal position in due course. But equally, of course, on the array, the other thing you are constantly looking at all the time is to get into a trend as it's developed. And that's why we've developed the indicator to show you these trend lines, the strength of the move, so that you have the opportunity, first of all, to assess the strength of that trend, then to assess its uh, relationship in terms of the currency complex itself, and then to take a position in the trend as it moves and as the trend develops and moves up the array to a steeper angle. And the angle of inclination that you see here Every one of these lines is giving you a sense of how strong that trend is. So in very simple terms, the stronger the trend, then the steeper will be the angle of inclination, or of course, 
if the trend is moving to the downside, in other words, if a currency pair is very bearish, then equally the angle of inclination will be very steep to the downside. Let's just pop that back on again. That was the New Zealand. Switch that off there. There we go. So we've got all our currencies back on again. And finally, really just to round off using a multiple time frame approach like this, here we're looking at the 5, the 15, and the 30. Looking across the time horizon will give you a very, very strong sense of the trend that's developing in 5, for example. On the euro, we saw a lot of euro buying. Are we seeing that reflected on the 15? We certainly are. You can see here we've got euro, cad, euro, yen, and euro, pound, euro, Aussie all up at the top. Over onto the 30 minute, are we seeing it develop there as well? We are indeed. We, you can visually see the euro, cad starting to tick up. We've got euro, yen here, and again, euro, pound up at the top there. And over on the 30, you can see at the bottom here, we've got uh, an indication that the Aussie dollar which we looked at over on the five minute here. You can see it down the bottom. It's just flicked down there another point, so it's down onto 27. A little further to go, now it's moved down to 28. So there's a lot of Aussie dollar selling right now. It's in a potentially oversold position. You can see here in brackets, it's dark red. If that pair ultimately moves to a strongly oversold position on the 30 minute time horizon, that will change to red. The brackets will disappear. You'll see the OS signal come up. And you'll then be in a potential opportunity to uh, to go and look at that chart on the slower time frame on a 30 minute, maybe out to the hour. And the opportunity perhaps to get into a position early for a reversal. But all of that would obviously be checked out on the charts. So I hope that gives you a, a, a really good overview on this indicator. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be putting up more videos on this in due course. It is a very new indicator, and do bear in mind that uh, this is one of the four indicators that you can now purchase as part of the currency dashboard, which is an awesome package of four very powerful indicators for trading Forex. And you can find all the details over on quantumtrading.com. So thanks for watching, and see you soon, and bye for now.